In this video, I am going to show you how you can uninstall Anaconda distribution from your system. So hey guys, this is Vishwes. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So let's get started. So if you are on Windows, uninstalling any program is pretty much simple. I hope if you are using Windows, you are well aware of it, how to uninstall a program. But there might be few issues while you uninstall Anaconda. So your command prompt may not turn on or maybe you, your git bash may not turn on. Okay, so I will show you a fix that I face. So I faced issues with my command prompt. My command prompt won't turn on. Now if I show you my command prompt works just fine. Conda is installed. Okay. And everything is working just fine. But it might happen that after uninstalling your command prompt might not work. So I'll, I'll show you how to fix that. So let me uninstall. So it's pretty simple. Go into your, uh, you can also type remove, remove. So if you, you will get this option, add or remove program. Okay. Now here you can find Anaconda. This is 2210, so it's almost almost a year, more than a year old. Okay, so I'm just going to uninstall it. So the wizard came next, uninstall, and it's going to take a lot of time. Okay, okay, what happened? Hmm, interesting. Okay. It works. So it's going to take a lot of time. It might take 10, 15 minutes to uninstall it completely based upon how many dependencies you have, how many libraries you have installed, okay, how many environments you have set up. So give it some time. So as you can see, it's completed. It took me around 13, 40 minutes, I guess. And I do next and finish. So you can see it's removed from the list over here. Now, let's suppose I don't know any kind of issue happened or not. Okay, so I am just going to assume nothing happened and I'm going to restart my system. I turned on my system. Let's see whether the issue exists or not. Okay, so it's done. Now, if I just try to open my command prompt, a command prompt, uh, what happened? Let me again try to open command prompt. Okay, so as you can see, there is this particular issue that is happening. So command prompt run as an administrator. Okay, see, it is not able to run. This is the issue that I faced. It took me a time. It took me some while to figure it out why it happened and another time to find out, okay, how to resolve this. So first of all, I did not know that it was an issue that that occurred because of Anaconda. Okay. After I removed it, I figured that out after multiple installs and uninstalls throughout the years. And yep, it's not working. So I have I will show you how this can be fixed. I think PowerShell works just fine. Yeah, PowerShell is not affected. Git bash, will it work? Git bash works. Can I open my command prompt from here? Yeah, you can see uh, Microsoft, you can now close the terminal with Control D or press Enter to restart. Okay. Ah, process exited with code one. Okay, some issue with uh, command prompt so it is not running so if you use command prompt obviously you can't use it now so I'll I'll show you how to fix it just open your windows key type registry registry editor registry editor okay give it the admin privileges now here I have two addresses where you are supposed to go which is h key local machine okay Inside of here, you are supposed to go to software. Okay, inside that you go to Microsoft. 
and inside that you are supposed to go to command processor where you are where you are command processor okay so uh, default completion okay i can't see that particular value over here i think we are good over here if you see anything that, that is uh, that is in the name as auto run just remove it so if there is anything that is uh, shown as auto run just delete it let me check the other address that could have it which is hk current user and it's in software then it's in microsoft then it's in command processor yeah you can see this auto run is there right just delete this yes and close this refresh let's open command prompt and boom it works so our command prompt is working just want to check if conda is successfully uninstalled or not so i will type conda so it's removed anaconda it's removed is it present over here nothing is present over here anaconda it's not there okay this is the installation file using which i installed it so just wanted to verify so there is one more thing that i need to show you so if i now i removed my conda now if i open in terminal now you can see every time i open my terminal i get this particular error bash c users jewel anaconda script conda.exe no such file or directory found okay so this is something that you will get when you uninstall conda so the simple way to so resolve this is you come to your home directory okay just remove this git bash profile okay i'll show you what it contains inside maybe i'll open with vs code so you can see it contains some data related to conda okay so uh, generally previously what used to happen was when you turn on your git bash so your conda initializes git bash and it uh, it adds base in front of your uh, git bash okay that reflects that your conda is activated and you are you are in the base directory base environment i should say so this is the this is a script which is responsible for that now just delete this particular script and now it's all sorted boom the error is not there so took me some time to figure this out that anaconda is causing this issue and took me another few time to figure this out how to resolve this okay like in the normal cases uh, all the vlogs in microsoft sites it will show you check for updates do a clean install this and that but this is the solution over here okay so anyways i'll show you these two addresses that i have in a, in a registry i think that will help so if this video was helpful do press that like button if you face any kind of issues do let me know in the comment section below i didn't show you for git if there is an issue with git bash okay i have never faced it so i can't tell you what would be the solution but do let me know if there is anything that i can help you with that's all for this video if this worked for you do press the like button and i'm going to see you in an awesome upcoming programming video